George Orwell's 1984? Yes. Yes, I saw the movie years ago. And, uh, yes, I, I, uh, I took that into consideration. I mean, it's, it's a book that I think that people should read, 1984 by George Orwell. And uh, it did, from what I picked up from it, it vaguely, it, 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 I, I didn't understand some things about the movie, but it seems like overall that's what it was saying. But that's true of any government. <laughs> you know, a government is set up on some type of principles. So naturally, uh, whatever those principles are, whatever the quote unquote government is, it wants people to follow whatever those principles are that that government is about. So this is true of just three people in a room. And one person is talking to the other two people and saying, I think we should do this. I think we should do that. I think we should do it this way or that way or the other. That's government. It's all the same thing. It's just a matter of influence. And then then it comes down to how that so-called, quote, government is conducted. Now, at some point, if three people are in a room and one person says, well, it's my way or the highway, meaning I'm going to tell you what to do, and I need you two people, and uh, you better do it, or you are going to be hurt by me. Now, See, so sometimes governments work that work through that too. I mean, they call that absolute dictatorship, where the other person uh, don't have any say so, and that applies to millions of people, or just three people in a room, or two people in a room, and one person dictates to the other. Same thing, same principles. Mm -hmm. These are not unique. I mean, this is how people interact with each other, <coughs> or. They can have a quote unquote government where both people will have some say so, equal say so. That's the ideal, where both people sit down and talk, say, now, what's the best way to go about, you know, we're going to do some plowing today. We're going to plow the ground today. Now, since it's just two of us, what's the best way to go about plowing the ground so that both of us benefit from the plowing that we are going to do equally? Or if one person is better at plowing and the other person isn't and uh, because one person is infirm or something like that and the other person is very strong and say, okay, well, how can I help you with the plowing? I mean, you know, well, you know, if we're going to have a horse, I mean, do you want me to groom the horse, feed the horse, see that the horse can be stronger so when the horse pulls the plow, it will make it easier on mm -hmm. you, so I can see to it that the horse is, uh, is in excellent health, oh, okay. and that will help you. We'll work it out that way. Yeah. See, that's the way all things should be done. 